This is the GT3 for two. I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the new Peg Perigo GT3. The Peg Perigo GT3 is a single stroller that turns into a an inline double by adding this lower basket seating. Let's take a look at it. So let's start with the seat. It's a very roomy seat. This is going to accommodate up to 45 pounds. This is going to really hold one of your healthier children. It is 14 inches wide, so it's a wide seat. It has a 20 inch seat back and it has a measurement of 26 inches from the back of the seat all the way to the top of the canopy. As you can see, our one-year-old, our three-year-old, and our five-year-old fit in the seat comfortably with room to spare. So this is a really big, big front seat. It has a 5.9 padded harness, and the buckle, it's actually not too hard to do, but a child thinks that they have to push the button as opposed to raise the button. So our three-year-old hasn't figured it out yet. He might eventually, but he hasn't yet. It is a well-padded seat, so it's going to be great for naps. Now, it has a recline. Now, it's not a full recline because there is this rear seat. It, you have to just raise the lever on the back of the seat, and that is going to take the, it halfway back, and that is as far back as it's going to go. Now, it's sufficient for a nap. Your child's going to be able to lay their head against the side to take a nap, but it isn't a full recline. We kind of wish that Peg gave us the option to have a full recline just in case we didn't want it in doubles mode. Just when we were using it in singles mode, if we had that full recline, that would be even better. So that would be our suggestion. There is a baby bumper bar, and it's a padded baby bumper bar, and it, it opens up so you can allow your child to get in on their own, and you can remove it all the way. There's also a non-adjustable footrest. Well, there's a this is where your older children are going to set their feet, and actually they use it a lot to climb in on their own. Now this is a kind of a leg rest that is adjustable. This is the down position, and you can also raise it to this position. While there isn't a baby tray, there is a child cup holder or bottle holder on the side. As you can see, it pops out. There's one on each side, and it does sip a, a, fit a normal size sippy cup and all the bottles we tried, so that's great there. So your child's going to really like that. There's another one on this side as well. Let's talk canopy. The canopy on the GT3, it's huge. It, as you can see, it's large this way, but it folds all the way down to the baby bump bar. This is going to give your child full coverage. Now, it doesn't have your standard peekaboo window, but what it has, which is kind of fun, is that it has a large mesh window that if you take this sheet, this piece up, it, it totally opens up the back of the seat to allow air to circulate through. Plus, your child can see you, and you can see your child, so that's kind of a nice feature of the canopy. It has an adjustable handle. It doesn't telescope out, but it does go up and down. It goes from 28 inches from ground to handlebar all the way up to 42 inches up here. And since the handlebar is quite a bit out, we did find that even with a long stride, you're not going to hit the back of the, the stroller with this. So this is a nice... Um, handlebar, even though it doesn't telescope out. Now, it doesn't have the um, normal parent tray, but it has this a removable parent pouch. It has a cup holder, bottle holder on this side, and it also has a large zipper area that you can fit a lot of essentials. I'm even able to sit like a, fit a travel size wipes and a couple diapers in there, a wallet, of keys, all kinds of stuff. And as I said, it is removable, so I can just take it off, and it has a strap so that you can wear it, you know, kind of like a fanny pack, you know, 1980s style. You just strap it around like that, and you can kind of use it on the go if you're, you know, in the city and you want to keep your essentials with you. Now, the basket on the GT3, it is huge. It has plenty of space. I got my regular diaper bag here. I can fit that all the way in there. I could fit at least two of those diaper bags. It's so huge. Now, the problem is this second seat is going into the basket. It's literally going to be setting in the basket. So that's going to take up a lot of your basket real estate. And when you have a rider in this rear, rear seat, their legs are going to be in the front of the basket. As you can see here, our little rider's legs, they kick around a lot, so you're really not going to be able to put any type of um, diaper bag or anything in the basket while you have a rear rider. So you're going to be um, just have your parent pack for your storage when there's two riders aboard. The GT3 is an all-terrain three-wheel stroller that rolls on three air-filled tires. And they did include a tire pump, so we really appreciate that. This front wheel, it's a swivel wheel. It, it's for great maneuverability, but it also has the ability to lock straight. And instead of switching something on the front wheel, how to lock this front wheel straight, there's a little level lever right here, and you turn that, and that is going to lock it straight. And you just turn it back, and that's going to allow it to swivel again. Now, the rear wheels, they have a suspension system, and it actually changes. There's three different um, settings you can set it on from hard, medium, and soft. Now, soft is going to be for your smooth pavements. They got medium, and that's going to be for your you know, more rougher terrain, your all-terrain. And then you got hard, which is going to be kind of for soft, which is kind of crazy. It's like 
grass, and sand. So once you kind of figure out which suspension, it's very easy. All you have to do is turn this lever. The lever's kind of hard to turn, but once you do it, that's going to change how much suspension the stroller's going to have. So this is how it, you know, this is a great feature to make it that really all-terrain stroller to get it over all kinds of different terrain. Now there's a suspension button on each wheel, so you're going to have to change each wheel individually. There's also splash guards that's going to prevent your rear child from getting splashed on a wet day. And it's also to prevent your child from getting up close and personal with the wheels since the seat is so close. I mean, the maneuverability on the GT3, it's good. Now, it's a pretty stroller, but it can get pretty mean when it comes to all-terrain. It's got these great air-filled tires, so it's going to really tackle rocks. We've got it up curbs, on grass, playground mulch. It, you know, it can get over all kinds of stuff. So, and it's 36 pounds, so it is a heavy stroller. And if it's fully loaded, you're going to have to use two hands to get it around. But if you have a small child using it in singles mode, I can zip it around with one hand. So the maneuverability is really great, and especially with that swivel wheel in front, we're able to get it around the tightest corners. The handle sports a runaway strap to just keep a handle on the stroller. It also has a brake. Now the brake is a hand brake. All you have to do is push it, and that's going to lock your stroller into place. And it's a pretty secure lock. Now the main feature of the GT3 for two, they call it for two because there is a seat that goes into the basket for another rider. It has a weight capacity of 35 pounds. Now it is a smaller seat. It's only 10 inches wide with a 19 inch seat back. As you can see, our three-year-old tester, he does fit in it, and our one-year-old tester does as well. But it is a small seat, and it's very close to the seat in front of you, in front of them. Now, the seat, it literally sets in the rear basket. It has a zipper. You're going to zip it in to the seat, or into the basket. And that's going to be as much as you do, and that is where your rear rider goes. Now, the problem is, it's very low. As you can see, I'm already down on my knees, and this is how I'm going to have to be to get my child in and out. Plus, your child's going to really have to do some Houdini, and if they're fighting to get in the stroller seat, good luck. It's going to be hard, because you have to get them in and down and under, and sometimes that can be tricky. Now, that one thing we're very disappointed is it only has a three-point harness. We expected a full five-point harness. It's just safer. As you can see, our three-year-old in the tester, and he is below the weight capacity. He is able, there's just too much movement with a three-point harness. He is able to lean all the way over the side. He can absolutely touch the wheels, as you can see. He can even try to pick things up over the ground. So we would really, really like Peg to add a five-point secure harness so our child cannot reach over so far. So as you can see, this if the front seat is reclined, you're really going to not have a lot of room. Our three-year-old fits, but it's close. And you want to be careful, too, if you have a small rider in front, they're going to kick the seat. And in order to get the seat up from recline, all they have to do is push it. So just be careful that you don't have a rowdy one down here. And we really wouldn't suggest putting a baby, a small baby, in this lower seat under probably one years old because of that three-point harness. We just don't think it's secure enough. But if you have an occasional rider that just wants to ride occasionally and you just snap that seat in, I think it's great. Full-time rider? I wouldn't do it. The fully in the stroller, not too hard to do, and you can do it with that lower seat attached, which is great. And Peg has even numbered the steps for you. You push the button number one, push button number two, and the whole thing is literally going to fold down flat. And it has a lock over here. Now it's not an automatic lock. We would like to see an automatic lock to make things easier on me, but it is a um, manual lock, and it does keep the stroller lock closed. Now the stroller. It's compact for a double stroller, and it's going to fit in a lot of trunks. It's 36 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. It's going to take a little bit of muscle to get in and out, but it's doable. Unfolding the stroller, very easy to do. Unlock your manual lock on the side here. Pull up on the handlebar. Give it a shake, and that's going to lock it open all the way. Make sure it's all locked, and you're ready to go. Since the front seat doesn't recline flat, it's not the seat isn't great for a newborn, but you can use it as a travel system. It comes with these included straps. Now, it says to use it with a Peg Perigo infant car seat, but we were able to put a um, Graco in there quite securely. You just put your seat in, recline it a little bit, put these straps on it, and that's going to you know make it a secure travel system. Now, the Peg Perigo GT3 for two, it's a great stroller. It's heavy, but it is mean when it comes to all terrain. It can really get through your toughest 
racks and mulch and everything. It has this great huge front seat for even a healthier child. It has that lower seat for the occasional rider. It has a fabulously huge canopy and it has a huge basket. That's huge when there's not a second rider, but it's huge still. And it has the adjustable handlebar. And this is the review of the Peg Perigo GT3 for two by Holly Schultz of babygizmo.com. That's the TT3. Bye. For the most up-to-date news and reviews, check out my blog at ratedbymom.com.